Hi guys, uh, today we're near Oiso, uh, between Kozu and Odawara, uh, hiking in the valley. Welcome to the valley of Odawara. You notice that the, uh, on this side, uh, where the sun's coming in, is a, is a perfect place for the, the Nikon or the orange groves. But so all on this side of the valley is, uh, are the citrus, tree, citrus trees. They grow lemon and different types of Nikon, uh, mandarin oranges, and uh, shonen gold and different types of tangerines. On this side, it's very different. So up there, that's the, the Odawara city. And you can't see, can't really see Fujisan today. A lot of crows in there, right? So a lot of trees have big crows. There's a lady up there shooting fireworks. I gotta go check this out. There's a lady shooting fireworks on top of the mountain. Karasu, saru. Karasu hiyodori. Karasu hiyodori. To keep the crows away? Yeah. During the cold winter months, uh, when the trees are bare, uh, the, the crows gather near food sources to claim uh, they're as nesting areas. They use the twigs and branches to make nests. Uh, it's kind of a burden for the resident farmers. Uh, they don't want the crows to roost there. <clears throat> so the lady's trying to scare off from the orange field. It's just a tree of skins. There is another one too. They're eaten. In Japan, there's about 10 different types of crows, but that includes other types of uh, birds. Uh, the corvus, or the coronet, uh, it's a carrion crow. It's the most common. Uh, it's called a hooded crow. In Japan, there's not really there's in Japan there's not really a strong distinction between the crows and ravens. They call them basically karasu, uh, any form of crow or the the corvus family. But the common raven or the corvus corex uh, is the most common in Japan. Uh, but there's also eight different subspecies of the of the crow. But the big ones I've noticed here are the, they call them the jungle crows. Uh, they're the large-billed crows, or the Covis macarinicus. The long-billed crow, or the, the jungle crow, is called a Hasabuta glass. It's distinguished because it is bigger, and it has a larger formed beak. It's kind of hooked, shaped down. So I came to the park, I wanted to get a better picture of, of the crows. So, in the picnic area, there's some food dropping, so this is... This is the this is probably the large built crow or the jungle crow because this he's much bigger and it's black and the back feathers are his back feathers are kind of bluish brown. Look at that bill. But he's walking. Uh, I heard that the the, the long-billed crows usually jump around like like Tigger. They kind of jump around like bouncing, jumping. And in the park, there are a lot of stray cats. So. But I want to get good shots of. I want to get some good shots of it. It's like a fable, like the cat and the crow. It's probably Japanese fables. Like that. Once upon a time. His eyes are like cameras, like taking photos. It's kind of interesting, I don't know much about crows, so probably in another video, I'll probably check out all the crows in the area. Oh, and these are kites. 